Hello friends, welcome to Kickstart Instrumentation. In the previous video, I explained you some basic things before we start doing the PLC programming. In this video, I am going to choose a pump that needs to be controlled and write a logic for that pump and I am going to introduce you function, UDT, data block, all the stuff that we are going to use in the projects when we really use a PLC programming. I am going to choose a data block now in which I am going to assign all the signals that we are going to use for that pump. So I go here to the block, I right click in the insert object choose a data block, give a name, pumps and give OK. So I am going to open the DB. So I am going to make it as simple as possible to make the concept clear. Okay, so I am going to choose few signals to control the pump. The first one is start push button. The type is boolean. Initial value is the value the PLC will take for, for the first cycle it rates. I am going to give the comment for better understanding if someone is accessing this data block I am going to take stop push button this is also boolean I am choosing a start command which is also a boolean Okay, so I am going to choose only these three signals and I have assigned it in the data block. Okay, I save this and download to PLC. So I have not opened the PLC. Now if I download, it will be downloaded. Yes, it is downloaded. Now I am going to write the logic for the pump. So this set and reset I explained you in the last video. So let this be start push button. And the network 2 will be stop push button. Here I am going to add a coil and instead of typing I0.0 Q0.0 I am going to type pumps dot. So this I am going to take it from the DB1. So this is a start push button. Okay, so I have chosen the start push button for this coil. Actually what I have done here is I am just mirroring this I0.0 address to this particular signal. Why? Because in the program I will be using I0.0 in multiple places. If I want to diagnose I need not to search for I0.0 wherever it is available. So I have to go where, wherever it is av available and I have to change it. For example, if I0.0 for some case, some reason, I am going to change it to I0.2. If I use I0.0 in multiple places in the project, I have to go everywhere to search for I0.0 and change it to I0.2. So in order to avoid this one during the diagnostics, I am mirroring the I0.0 to this signal. So it is, so now 
wherever I'm going to use I0.0, I'm not going to use I0.0. I'm just going to use this start push button signal itself. So I will be using very, uh, very soon. That time I will explain you again. So, so that what will happen wherever I want to change, I need not to change to go everywhere, wherever I0.0 is available. It is enough that I change it only here to I0.2. So now wherever I0.0 will be changed to I0.2. So now for time being, let it be I0.0. So here I take a NC contact. Since it is the stop I0.1. I'm going to add a coil. I'm going to choose pumps dot stop push button. So now here I am going to take the start push button and I am going to take the stop push button. I am going to connect it to the output. The output is Q 0, 0.0 and here the input I am going to choose it as start push button and here stop push button so you may wonder why I am choosing the NO contact here instead of using NC since already I choose NC contact this will be mirrored to this signal so this signal is already active so if it is NC also the, here it will be active so during uh, simulation I will mention this again for you to understand so I will add the latching also which is Q 0, 0.0 okay so I have done a very simple logic for the pump so let me save this and download to PLC okay <clears throat> here I told you about the mirroring see start push button I already mirrored to I0.0 .0. again I am going to call start push button here in this place instead of start push button I can also write I0.0 .0 because the same I0.0 .0 is going to be used in this place also so instead of using in multiple places I0.0, I0.0, again in different places I0.0, I'm going to call only the start push button so that if I want to change the address of this particular signal, it is enough that I change it only here. And in if for example, here also I0.0 .0 is available. Now if I want to change this address to I0.2, I have to go here and I have to change here also to I0.0. .0. So I don't want to do this. For example, now this is a very simple, only in two places I am changing. If it is a very big logic, if I have used multiple places the start push button, so everywhere I have to go and change I0.0 .0 to I0.2. So to avoid this we are using the mirror function. So let us change it again to I0.0 .0. and this one we will call it as start push button. Okay, I save this one again. I download to PLC. Now let us simulate and see. Okay, so now I just want to explain you so when I0.0 .0 is active the start push button will be activated and since it is already NC 
the stop push button is already activated. So once I0.0 .0 is activated, I told you start push button will be activated. That means here also the start push button will be activated. It's already activated the stop push button. So the output will be activated. Let us see. I run the PLC. And I just monitor here. You see here. Now I'm going to check i0.02 active so once this is i0.0 is active pump start push button is active as i told you the q0.0 is also activated since it is latched it's even though i remove i0.0 the q0.0 will be activated because it is latched now i am going to disconnect the nc contact to ngo to deactivate the stop push button that is i0.1 so q0.0 becomes 0 now so this is a very simple logic and uh, so i have written this logic in the ob1 but let me stop the plc in the previous video itself i told you I want my OB1 to be as simple as possible. I don't want multiple things to be the, the OB1. So to avoid this, I'm going to introduce something called function. So what I'm going to do in the function. Okay, before we go into the function, we also created in the db1 start command. So I have not used it here. So let me stop monitoring. Let me. So once the start push button and stop push button is activated, it will activate the start command. Pump start command so once the start command is activated it will make the output q 0 0.02 active okay we do the latching here Save and download to the PLC. I run the PLC. So when I0.0 is deactivated, still the Q0.0 is activated as long as the stop push button is not disturbed. I am going to make it true now. So the stop Q0.0 is false now okay so before i told you i want the ob1 to be as simple as so what i'm going to do i'm going to introduce the concepts of function so in the function i'm going to create a function for the digital input mirroring because these are all the input signals i'm mirroring so i'm going to make this network one and network two as a separate function and this is the actual logic of the pump so i'm going to create one function for the pump where the logic will be written and i'm going to create one more function this is a output mirroring so for the output mirroring i'm going to create a function for the digital output mirroring so let us not monitor here let me go here i create insert new object function i name it function di mirroring i save 
I create one more function fc devo mirroring I create one more function for the pump logic okay first I open the di mirroring so I take side by side let me close this so what I'm going to I'm going to move this start push button and stop push button this digital input mirroring to this function one which is di mirroring And I'm going to delete this network one and two. So I have made the digital input mirroring in this particular function. Why I am doing it here? Why? Because we will not have only these two digital input signals. We will have multiple number of signals. So during the diagnostic, if you want to check for the particular signal, you need not to go into the OB1 which will be having more number of uh, logic if we don't uh, do all these things. So you have to go everywhere to check for this particular signal. Let us say start push button. So if it is available here, it is it will be very easy for us. So which address is assigned for that particular function. You can easily identify and easily you can go to the logic and diagnose. That is the reason we are having the function for the mirroring we have for the digital input and for the digital output and for the analog input we will have a different function for the mirroring okay so i save this and i download i close this as well i am going to open the devo mirroring In the Devo mirroring, I am going to copy this and paste it here and I will delete it from the OB1. So the Devo mirroring from the main OB1, I change to function 2 which is Devo mirroring. I save this. I also download to the PLC and close this function. And I open FC pump, which will actually contains the logic of pump. So this also I am going to delete. Okay, you see here before you see. Let me just uh, save this function fc pump. I download to the PLC and I close it. So now you see my OB1 becomes empty. Whatever I wrote here, I took separately to access very easily during the diagnostics and I created different functions function for DI mirroring function for devo mirroring function for the pump logic and i also told you the plc will read the logic which is available only in the ob1 but now in the ob1 nothing is available that means what we have to do so we have to call this da mirroring devo mirroring pump logic to the ob1 how we are going to do that so before we start doing that let us create true and false so this will we will normally use it in our program
so I'm going to choose m1.0 not i1.0 it is m1.0 which is memory bits which is only available in the plc which will be executed by the plc no one can disturb this address but it is not assigned so i am going to edit symbol in that edit symbol i am going to give to i am going to make thing caps so instead of typing here em 1.0 if you type true it will become em 1.0 here also true and here i am going to add and and this one warm em 1.1 this is not the uh, assign i am going to edit the symbol and i am going to make it as false okay and i'm going to insert a new network here if true then it will call the da mirroring which is function 1 fc1 and i'm going to connect fc2 which is da mirroring okay this true or false why i wrote the simple logic here in the future if you want to diagnose only the digital input signals you can add a no contact here and make false which means which means when i diagnose da mirroring now the logic will be executed only for da mirroring do mirroring will not be executed so to do only the diagnostics of da mirroring i'm just going to block the logic or the mirroring of do so that is why this is this will be useful i will delete this one for time being and i create a new network so this one i call it as mirroring this one i call it as pump if this is true call the function 3 which is the logic of the pump okay so now i called all the functions cda mirroring function i called do mirroring i called and the logic i have called now i am going to save the ob1 i am going to download it now let me run the plc so you remember the logic now if i0.0 is activated q0.0 will be activated see it's happening i didn't write the logic here in the main ob it is in the function pump that is fc3 even though if i make i0.0 to be false the output still remains the same so the same logic that we wrote in the ob1 previously now i am going to make the stop to true the output goes false so the same logic but i have split into different functions so that my main ob will be as simple as possible to execute the logic so let me stop the plc so here i want to stop this uh, video and in the next video i will be explaining you the udt or let us say if i have i wrote the logic in the fc pump for only one pump if i want to write for multiple number of pumps let us say i have a five pumps or let us say three pumps 
So if I want to write for three pumps, how I am going to do? So for one pump, I did a simple logic in the main OB1 and then I split that logic, whatever the logic that I wrote in OB1 to different functions called mirroring, DA mirroring, DO mirroring, FC pump for the logic and I called all these functions into the OB1 and I executed the logic. Now this is for the only one pump. I am going to do it for the three pumps in the next video and how we are going to do that let us see in the next video. Thank you for your support. Continue watching my lessons to understand the basic programming Siemens PLC. Thank you friends. Let us see you in the next video.